Hi, my name is Heather, and today we're going to unbox the Walk on One Display 13 Touch Tablet. Wacom sent me their new Wacom One Display tablet. I am super excited to try out the new features of this tablet because it's a touch tablet. You can use your fingers to zoom in and pan and all that, so I'm super excited about that. The other thing is it can hook up to your Android phone, so I think it's gonna be way more portable than the other version. As you know, I love to draw on my couch or in a comfy chair. I don't really like to be tied to my desk, so if I can take this tablet and just bring it over to my couch and plug it into my phone, then that would be so cool. So we're gonna see how that works too. Before we start, I wanna give a huge thank you to Wacom for sending me this tablet. And also, you might notice that in this video, I'm actually pronouncing it Wacom, which has been really hard. I actually had to redo my intro a few times and I keep catching myself saying it the way I used to say it, which is Wacom. So Wacom actually sent me an email and they told me to start saying it right. So now I have to pronounce it right. Apparently it comes from two Japanese words fused together. I can't remember exactly, but I'll put it on the bottom of the screen right here for you to see. So yeah, now I am pronouncing it Wacom, but I am never going to change my pronunciation of GIF. I will hold on to that forever. Anyways, let's get to unboxing this tablet. This is the box that it came in, and I'll just go ahead and open this up. Here's the tablet, Pen Display 13 Touch. And let's see what else is in the box. A rear cover. Oh, so I believe what this is, is that you have a rear cover for your Wacom tablet and you can actually like decorate it with stickers and stuff. So that's really exciting and I'll probably do a video on that. Ooh, a carry case. Oh, this is cute. Um, hold on, let me open it up so we can see what it looks like. It's so cute, and you know what? We could make things on the Cricut to iron on here, so that would be super fun. It has two different compartments here, so that's really cool. You can keep like your notebooks and stuff in one, and then your tablet in the other. That is super cute, and I can't wait to decorate it. Um, what's this? Oh, we have a drawing glove. I've seen people use these, but I've never used one before. So that's really fun. We're definitely gonna have to mess around with that. I think the point of this is so you don't like smudge a tablet with your hands and it makes like better friction for when you're drawing. Your hand can like go across the tablet nicely. So we'll see how that works. Oh, this is a stand. So we have a stand for the tablet. Also separately, they sent me these other things. This came in a separate package, but I haven't opened them yet. This is a pen case, so it goes on the pen. And then this is a pen. And I'm also really excited because I got to pick what color pen I want. So this is really fun because I feel like everything is so creative right now. Like you can pick different colors of pens and we can decorate the back of the tablet and this is just so exciting. Like we can have so much fun with this. Let's go ahead and open up the tablet. These are some instructions. And here it is. Let's go ahead and compare it to the other one. Here is the first one, the Wacom One Display. And then this is the new one I just got, the Wacom One Display 13 Touch. I can definitely tell like the screen of this one is much shinier and this one is like a little more matte. The new one is just a little bit smaller, but I don't think it's really enough to make a big difference. This one actually has like these little kind of feet on it that are rubbery for when you set it down. Whereas this one doesn't have those. But this one does have these little things that come out to stand. This guy does not. So those are interesting differences. Let's see what else is in here. 
So we have a quick start guide. This is the default pen that comes with it. Wearing his sweater. Ooh, it's pretty though with the gray, but I'm excited to see my colored one. We have some cardboard things. Oh, there's something in here. <laughs> oh, the little pen tips. So there's those. Ooh. The cord, two cords. Oh, so it's not the big massive cord of the other one where it's like connected and then you have like three things coming out of one end and one thing coming out of the other end. So these are actually just two different cords. Interesting. So we'll see how that goes. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, pluggy. Okay, I'll have to figure out how that works later. Oh, ah, oh, that makes more sense. Okay, because it had these short things and I was like, what's going on here? But I guess you have to stick his head on. Ah, there we go. I'm really excited about the pen, so let's open up that now. Here we go not colored. Let's open up the cover. Maybe that's what makes it all colored. <gasps> Here it is. It's so pretty. Okay, let's put this in. It's beautiful. I am very happy when things in my life are colorful. <laughs> And this is a stand. Let's open this up. It is a half circle and another half circle. Should probably look at the instructions. Oh, interesting. Okay, I'm definitely gonna look at the instructions for this. Let's see. Huh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay, so apparently I'm supposed to take these and put them like this. I take this guy and I put them like that. Oh, that's pretty neat. And then when you're done, you can fold them up and you can take them with you. Oh my gosh, they're magnetic and they stick together. Oh, there we go. If you do it this way, it's like science class. If you do it this way, it doesn't work. But if you do it this way, it works. Very nice. Oh, we have the drawing glove. Let's see how this works. I have small hands, so if this fits me properly, then that'll be really nice. It even has the Wacom logo on it. That's awesome. I like it. I'm gonna wear this like to the store and stuff. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so there's that, and then the camera cut out while I was unboxing the last item, and the last item is this cover on the back. So this is really cool. This is a clear cover, so you can like put any decorative items you want between the tablet and the cover. So I think it would be really neat to put like art prints from my favorite artists like in between. And then the other thing is you can also like put stickers on here and decorate it and do whatever you want to it. So I'm really excited because this new Wacom stuff seems like very creative, like you can just have fun with it and really express your creativity. I love that you can pick different colors for the pens and you can decorate the back. And if you get the carrying case, you can do iron-ons for it. So this is really exciting. I did try everything I could to get the tablet working with my Android phone, but I couldn't get it to work. My phone is a Google Pixel 6. The tablet works really well with the Samsungs from what I heard, but Wacom did say that it works with the Google Pixel, but just not as well, but I couldn't get it to work at all. So I'm just going to use the computer but it still is really exciting because I do feel like it's still very portable because guess what? All you need is this one cord. 
So with the original version, you had to have that massive cord with four different things to plug in. And now it's just one cord from the computer to the tablet and that's it. So that's really exciting. I believe that if you are able to hook it up to your phone, then you do need another cord for power. But if you're using a laptop, then it can just take the power from the laptop. And so that's all you need is one cord. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this guy in. And here's my little stand. I'm gonna put my cool Wacom glove on. Now I did have to install a driver for this to work on my MacBook Pro. So if you get this tablet, then you will wanna to go to the Wacom website and download the driver for it. And then also in the Wacom Center, you can set some different settings here. So since this tablet has the touch ability, you can go over to touch and gestures and you can set these different things. Right now it says touch is enabled and the way that you enable it or disable it is with the switch here. If I flip it to the left, then touch is off. And if I flip it to the right, then touch is on. And then I can go to basic gestures with two fingers. You can tap to right click, you can scroll, zoom, rotate, double tap to smart zoom. Then we can go to advanced gestures and here we have some with the three fingers so you can tap to get the radial menu and you can swipe to navigate. But I also added an extra one so I made it so that if I swipe up with four fingers then it'll undo. That's what I added because I like to have a quick undo. Now let's go to Affinity Designer and we can test this out. So let's create a new document. And I'm going to grab my brush tool and I'll just draw something. Oh, let's put the controller on though. Let's put on pressure. It draws really nice. I love it. So I wasn't sure with like the more shiny surface if that would make a difference because it's not as like matte as the other one, but it does feel really nice. Now let's try the touch out because that's what I'm most excited about. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. And I can rotate it and I can zoom. This is like all I ever wanted. <laughs> oh, and you can pan. That's really nice. This is going to be so helpful because a lot of times I accidentally try to touch it and do things and then I can't though. <laughs> so this is going to be really nice. I love it. I'm super excited to use this tablet in my Wacom tutorials going forward. And if you're interested in getting this tablet, I'll have the link in the description. If you're new to my channel, then make sure you check out my tutorials for how to use your Wacom tablet with your Cricut to make your own SVG files for custom products that you can either sell or make yourself. And stay tuned for more Wacom tutorials, which will be to come. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments, or as always, you can email me at heather at heathercash.com. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so I know to make more videos like this. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.